everyone, it's Fairy Witch One here again, and we're going to talk to you more about at the bottom of the garden. Um, so this video is going to be about toadstools and mushrooms. Um, and then uh, when I've finished all these topics, I've got plans to talk about each elemental fairy individually. So anyway, for today's topic, I'm going to talk about toadstools and mushrooms. Now, toadstools and mushrooms have long been associated with fairies and fairy magic. Best known of these is the fly aragic, a bright red mushroom with white spots. This type of mushroom has hallucinogenic properties and was used by the Celtic priestess, priests and priestesses to induce a shamanic journey or vision quest. Now, um, when you see a lot of pictures these days of the fairies, you will see these um, white topped um, mushrooms. Um, best example of one I could give, if you're thinking of mushrooms, think of Mario and think of the ones that make him grow. Silly, and but to get the picture of what I'm on about in your head, that is the best way I can think about it. Um, if you look at a lot of artwork, you will see them with these sort of mushrooms and toadstools in a circle and they class that as a fairy circle. Um, these hallucinogenic journeys could be the origin of tales of visits to fairyland. In Wicca and pagan traditions, mushrooms are used to represent and increase fertility. It is easy to see why, when you look closely at a mushroom, as they do have quite a phallic shaped shape to them. You know, the, the um, stem. There are lots of different mushrooms, and some of them are poisonous, so you shouldn't pick them unless you can identify them accurately. Now, some mushrooms, if eaten, can be very deadly. Now, mushrooms growing in a circle are known as fairy rings, like I said. This is a sure sign of elemental activity. Tradition states that a fairy ring is a favourite place for the fairies or fairy reveals. When the fairies come out and dance in circles once again, there is a link here between folklore and magic. As witches often perform a circle dance in order to raise powerful spells and rituals, such dances usually take place in a meadow or forest. The better to commune with nature. So basically, that's a little bit um, on the mushrooms, and there are some spells, so I will do one of the spells now, and I will do another video another day to do it. Now this is a spell to keep someone in the dark. Now mushrooms tend to grow in the dark, shady places, so you can call on their powers if you need to keep someone in the dark for a while. Note that this spell should be used only for positive reasons. For example, if you are planning to surprise a surprise party for someone, or a treat for someone, it should not be used to cover up any form of deceit or dishonesty. Now, if you do use the spell for such purposes, you will eventually have to deal with the consequences, which could be quite nasty. Now, that is a, that is a big warning. You've heard of the threefold law, so please do not do this spell if you want to cover up um, dishonesty, or deceit. Now that is a big that is a big warning. Do not do this spell if you want to cover up dishonesty or deceit. Now what you will need is a plain garden mushroom and the moon phase can be any. Take your mushroom and name it for the person you wish to keep in the dark. Then whisper the reason for this, for example, a surprise party. Place the mushroom at the back of the dark cupboard and leave it there until you have sprung your surprise. When the mission is accomplished, give the mushroom back to the earth by placing it in the garden. Finally, give your thanks to the fae. Now, like I said, do not do that spell if you're going to deceit someone or be dishonest or anything like that because it will it will come back at you threefold and the, the consequences will be nasty. So I hope this video has been helpful for to anyone wondering about mushrooms and toadstools. There are a few more spells I will do on mushrooms and toadstools and I'll do them in the next couple of days. So bless it be everybody.